application of biopatch. Some bacteria will invariably attach to the catheter surface as it passes through the skin layers, hair follicles, and sebaceous glands. All surface transient and resident organisms and up to 80% of the resident organisms in the stratum corneum can be removed by properly preparing the skin. Before insertion, be sure to cleanse the skin surface according to hospital protocol. A one to two minute clean scrub with a chlorhexidine preoperative skin scrub 2% CHG cloth is recommended. Following the preoperative skin cleansing, a surgical site prep is best accomplished by the application of 2% chlorhexidine gluconate 70% isopropyl alcohol. Prep the skin using a vigorous back and forth scrubbing motion. Then work outward to the peripheral area. It is important to allow the area to completely dry for a minimum of 30 to 60 seconds. Maximum sterile burial precautions prevent cross-contamination of transient organisms and protect the skin preparation. Insert catheter into prepared skin area. When fixing the catheter in place with a suture or a sutureless securement device, Leave enough room for biopatch to lie completely flat against the skin. Not leaving enough room will prohibit the biopatch disc from 360 degree protective coverage. Leave approximately a half inch or 1.25 centimeters. Remove biopatch protective disc from the sterile package using aseptic technique. The double arrow symbol printed on the blue side, blue grid of biopatch, is an international symbol for this side up. Note that there are two distinct sides to the biopatch disc, a blue printed side, blue grid, which always faces up away from the skin, and the smooth white foam side must always be in direct contact with the skin surface. An easy way to remember this is printed side up. Place biopatch around the catheter or pin site with the CHG impregnated white foam side in direct contact with the patient's skin. Make sure that the biopatch is not laying on top of the catheter hub. When aligned properly, the pre-cut slit allows for an easy release of the catheter when the transparent film dressing and biopatch are removed. In order to ensure easy removal when used with a film dressing, place biopatch around the catheter in such a way that the catheter rests upon the slit portion of the biopatch. If the slit is not properly aligned, the catheter can become trapped between biopatch and the transparent film dressing. To maximize efficacy, make sure the edges of the radio slit are touching and the biopatch is in contact with the skin to achieve 360 degrees of coverage around the catheter. Secure the catheter and biopatch to the skin with a transparent dressing and date it consistent with hospital protocol. Biopatch will absorb up to eight times its weight in fluid and remains effective in the presence of blood and wound fluid. Change the dressing as necessary in accordance with facility protocol. Dressing changes should occur at least every seven days. However, dressing changes may be needed more frequently with highly exuding wounds. Please refer to your facility's protocol for dressing changes. When changing biopatch, first remove the transparent dressing by picking up the corner of the dressing and stretching the dressing away from the catheter, holding the catheter in place. The dressing will partially lift. Peel back until resistance is felt. Repeatedly stretch and peel as necessary until the dressing is removed. Biopatch will remain attached to the transparent film dressing, so removal will be simultaneous.